It's Game 3 of the Western Conference Finals, a tight series back and forth so far. Will it continue that way? Thank you for joining us for this playoff edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Tonight, we'll see the Utah Jams as they play against the Los Angeles Lakers. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. Hey, Dave. Head coach Quinn Snyder is trying to help the Jazz break through in a crowded Western Conference. Snyder said, there's always challenges, and I'm comfortable with adversity. I just want to keep the right perspective. I've got something that I love to do. And Kevin, he is one of the biggest reasons the Jazz is always a factor. He is doing a great job. Thank you, D.A. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. Green and Rondo in the backcourt. Up front, it's Kuzma and Davis. And it's LeBron in at the three, the small forward. And for Utah, Mitchell and Bogdanovich, they're the wings. Inside, we have Ingles and Gobert. And it's Conley in at the point. Here we go. Tip off goes to the Lakers. Bogdanovich against LeBron. And James throws it down hard. That one to LeBron's highlight reel. How about the creativity in midair? Conley into the lane. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. They easily took Thursday's game. And, and the focus was to get stopped. All game, they were right up on shooters. And that led to some big time rejection. This was their game plan going in. Make shooters uncomfortable by challenging every possible shot. How about the head of steam he's able to generate right there and just gets to the rack really easy. Three pointer. No good on that one. And the Lakers go on the other way now. Here's James and finished off by LeBron. Can't do anything about it. LeBron gets a step. Next thing you know, he's hanging off the rim. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Chalk up two there. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range, even against that one. But you know what? There was probably a better matchup on the floor, but when it goes in, nobody complains. Now, here's Kuzma. And he can't bank that one in. And really, despite that miss, they've had a solid start offensively. Conley kicks to Mitchell. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Pass to Davis. For Gobert and Davis with the basket on the assist by Rondo. I mean, beautiful execution of the game plan offensively. So far, they are hitting 80% from the field. Pass to Kuzma. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this field. quarter of basketball just over two and a half minutes play back to Mitchell not going to go that time Kuzma with the defensive effort no one near James as he lets it go and again it's the Lakers building up a big early lead they have taken charge of this game play calling has been fantastic they've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip just a little off to start this game. One for five, looking to find some kind of rhythm. And Davis throws it down. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. This is my type of approach. Get some high percentage looks. Then later, you can play inside out. And a first time out of the game called for Utah. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied.
Lakers on D. Gobert finds Bogdanovich. Now Ingles. Outside Conley. Back to Ingles. They need this. Kuzma pulls it in. Woo, that's just a case of bad defense and even worse offense. And Davis throws it down. What a beautiful play, and it was great timing. Then the athletic finish by AD. And it's Mitchell missing. Meeting right at the rim. He typically converts in those situations. Not this time. The shot's good from Kuzma. Kuzma's got his second basket. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Conley kicks to Bogdanovich. Back to Conley. Over Rondo. The Jazz again can't hit it. I mean, all period, it's been a struggle for him scoring the ball. Good on the time bucket. Time. Yes. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. And the Jazz call time here. You look at James, what a contribution. The man has been relentless scoring inside, attacking the rim every chance he gets. Their defense has been powerless to stop him. We'll see what adjustments they make coming out of this timeout. It's an 18-point game. Conley, the pass to Mitchell. Gobert dishes to Mitchell. Misses, and the dry spell continues. Great defensive effort. Just save a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Uh, I'll tell you, it's one thing to do this at home. Another to do it in a hostile environment. They built up this huge league with great play at both ends. They're going to love watching film tomorrow. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. This has been an impressive performance tonight. Even with a big lead, they've maintained their focus. And Davis sends it back. What's crazy about AD as a shot blocker, he can block your shot at all three levels. Careless turnover. You lose focus for even a moment in this league. That's the result. Utah has gone 0-2 from deep here. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. And the foul called on Danny Green. That is his first foul of the game. Moutier is checked in for Mitchell. against Rondo. Shot clock at six. Here's Moutier. The Jazz again can't hit it. Los Angeles leading by 22. It's Kuzma penetrating. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Dante Exum is checked in for Mike Conley. On the free throw, no good. And it's Utah's ball. Bogdanovich passes to Moody. And it's Exum in the corner. They need this one. Gobert trying to get open, and Exum with the lay-in. Very comfortable in the pick and roll. That time, Exum called his own number. Here's James, and all around the rim that time before dropping in. LeBron's got 12 points in the game. Moutier dishes to Gobert. 
Elbow shot. That's good from Moutier on the assist from Bogdanovich. I love Bogdanovich's ability to put the team first. When he sees one of his guys open, he's a willing ball mover. Now here's Rondo. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. On the wing, James. Ingles covering. A shot off that time. Utah's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Aganovich. Gobert with the pass to Ingles. And Davis sends it back. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by James. A different look for Utah. Ed Davis is checked in for Rudy Gobert. And Royce O'Neal subbed in for Bogdanovich. And then for the Lakers. DeMarcus Cousins. He's checked in for Davis. JaVale McGee comes in for Kyle Kuzma. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope in for Green. Los Angeles on D. Shot clock at five. Pass to Moody. A three ball. And it's rebounded by DeMarcus Cousins. Uh, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy. And theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. Obviously, Rondo's main priority is to dish the rock. When you're open, he'll get it to you. Now, here's Exum. Not a lot of room. And Davis throws it down. And he might be small for a center, but boy, can he jump out of the building. Throws it up high. And the slam dunk by McGee. Beautiful pass. LeBron, fun to watch. Intelligent, outstanding read. Back to Exum. Over Rondo. Exum's shot is off. And his pure defensive effort changed that shot from an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look. But this is why we play the game. Here's Moutier after the basket by Los Angeles. Outside, Davis. Pulls from the top of the key. That one misses. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Here's Cousins. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got four assists now tonight. That's a money spot for Cousins. He is comfortable from the mid-range. Now here is Davis. The pass to X takes the three. Up and in. Off to an efficient start. Two for three from the field. To stretch out the defense, you just need enough guys on the floor who can make that shot. And Cousins kicks to LeBron. There's the feed to McGee. It's good. McGee's got his second bucket of the night. And I like that they're not settling. Getting the ball on the interior. Eight of their last ten coming that way. Passes to Davis. Now Exum. James covering. Got it. Nice one there from Exum. Exum's got seven points in the game. That's three out of four now, and you can see his confidence already building. Here's Cousins inside. The shot's good from McGee. Nice pass here to set that basket up. 106 left to play here in the first. Out to the right wing. Shoots from the corner, and he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. A tall guard who can see over the defense. Exum with no trouble locating the open teammate. It's going by Moutier. To the inside. Ingles. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. Now, here's Cousins. Buries it down low. Finishing through contact, DeMarcus, one of the best at it, has the natural power and excellent body control. There's 14 seconds left here in the first quarter. Down to five on the shot clock. Let's it go. That's good from Moutier on the assist by Exum. Exum's got three assists now in this one. We're at the end of the first quarter. And what a blowout already in this one. Lakers on top, just dominating this one. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports.
I need some. Well, you see a lot of players who pick up a controller and fire up NBA 2K, thank goodness, <laughs> including the king himself, LeBron James. I play 2K all the time. Seriously, when I'm playing the game, I'm putting certain lineups on the court that I see could actually help us in real life, which is very weird. Always experimenting, always keeping his mind engaged, Greg, with basketball. And that's who Braun is. He lives, breathes, and eats basketball. What an atmosphere in here as we return to the action of the Western Conference Finals. And guys, the Lakers are pretty much in control here. Well, you have to love what they've done offensively after that first period. It's crushing it. Absolutely crushing it. Shooting lights out, building a big lead here early on. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. So on the floor for Utah. We've got Davis. O'Neal is out there with Green. Then it's Moutier, and it's Exum in at the guard position. And he makes the first. We've watched Cousins for a while. I love the way he plays with emotion, but it has to be under control. And so DeMarcus Cousins nails both of them. And it's Exum with the ball who will bring it up for the Utah Jazz. Green finds Exum. Here's the teardrop. That shot missing. Nice D from Cousins. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. And there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Now here's Cousins. Five to shoot. Here's Rondo. And that's good off the glass that time. And when Rondo is dropping in the mid-range shots, it really opens up the floor for everyone else. Moutier dishes to Exum. Rebound the Lakers. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. And Cousins gets it to go. DeMarcus can play outside, but the paint is still where he makes his living. Godwell Pope against O'Neal. Back to Exum. Pass to O'Neal. Doesn't get it to drop for him. And the Lakers take it the other way. A floater. Bradley can't get it to go. The Jazz have gotten only one of their first four shots in the second quarter to drop. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. That's his first foul. And the Jazz with some changes. Donovan Mitchell comes in for Emmanuel Moutier. And it's Conley in for Exum. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for the Lakers. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Davis, the pass to Mitchell. Over in the corner, Conley. Six on the shot clock. To end the drought. That one goes. Count it. Conley's got his second basket of the night. You know, he called his number that time. Mike Conley picking apart the defense off the pick and roll. Bradley kicks to Caldwell Pope. At the elbow, it's Cousins. Back to Caldwell Pope. Out to Kuzma. Cousins dishes to Bradley. Top of the key. And Davis pulls it down. Can't fault the play call. Even though he could convert, that's a good shot. And the shot goes in. Six points for Conley. And Conley, because of his quickness and wingspan, he plays bigger than his size. Cousins against Davis. And that's going to be a travel. Turnover there, but for the most part, they've taken care of the basketball. That was one of the few mistakes they've really made. Gobert, he's checked in for the Jazz. Bogdanovich comes in for O'Neal. And then for the Lakers. Davis comes in for JaVale McGee. And it's Green in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. Mitchell passes to Cump. Plays it up and banks it in. Conley's got eight points. Just a positive force right now for these guys. And though his team 
has fallen a bit short. It's not because of him. Now, here's Kuzma. He's got 10. Outside, Green. Pass to Cousins. Tries from the block. And again, the Lakers no good. The inside just a bit too congested for him to get the usual shot he would have with rhythm. And, and looking a lot better now, but still a long way to go to get back into this one. Very nice stretch from them, but the reason why they're not into this game, they have to get some stops. Here's Bradley. Step back on that one and let it fly. Don't kid yourself about Avery Bradley. He's thin, but he's surprisingly strong, and he's tough. Conley, the pass to Mitchell. He kicks it to Bogdanovich. Green up on top, guarded by Kuzma. Mitchell wide open. No good from outside. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you shouldn't miss. And finished off by Davis. The veteran presence of Danny Green keeping his eyes up, finding his teammate wide open. Bradley against Conley. Shoots over Bradley. Again, the Jazz score. Well, that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why, it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Now, here's Bradley. Good. And Davis has got 10 points. Adding to this lead, he's been dependable and consistent at the offensive end. Conley, the pass to Gobert. Mitchell outside. A shot, no good. Great D that time from Green. You want to talk about ugly? This team is losing, partly because he hasn't drained a shot all night. That's his first person. Lakers shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. A lot to like about Avery Bradley's game. Terrific on-ball defender, solid spot-up shooter, and will get you some boards as well. All three throws good from Avery Bradley. And it's Conley with the ball for the Utah Jazz. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Green left side. Just five on the clock. And here's Bogdanovich for three. Utah the rebound. Conley against Bradley. They kick it out to Green. A three-pointer off the mark. inside. He's covered by Bogdanovich. Misses the layup. Here's Conley. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. And it's slammed in by Davis. Exceptional timing on the pick and roll. AD showing a good feel for how to generate points. the pass to Bogdanovich. Bradley against Conley. Back to Bogdanovich. Off target from three-point range. For Los Angeles, they've gone six of ten from the floor here in the second quarter. It's Bradley on the wing. He's covered by Bogdanovich. Kuzma can't get it to go. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. Oh, he's heating up here now in the second quarter. Watch out. Lakers leading by 23. Bradley passes to Davis. Cousins with it. Over Gobert. And that one's good, Cousins. Cousins has got 10 points. Well, AD attracts so much attention. He's learned to stay patient and just locate the open man. Conley kicks to Mitchell. 
And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's his first personal foul. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Jazz, Donovan Mitchell taking two shots. Shooting two. The first one falls. He was a part of that terrific draft class in 2017. Donovan Mitchell was somewhat unheralded, but may turn out to be the best of the bunch. Joe Ingles, he's checked in for Utah. And then for Los Angeles, James checked in for Cousins. And Quinn Cook subbed in for Avery Bradley. And Mitchell drops them both. Lakers leading by 23. Cook the pass to James. And they double up James. Kuzma kicks to Cook. Down low. And James throws it down. LeBron is having himself a game. Staying aggressive, playing with a lot of force. Conley dishes to Mitchell. Somehow ignores the tight tee and gets the layup. Mitchell's got four points this quarter. Talented, driven. He puts constant pressure on your defense. Davis in the corner. Knocked loose. He had stolen by Ingles. Here's the three. That's good for Mitchell on the assist from Bogdanovich. Bogdanovich has got three assists tonight. James in the post. Gobert on him. Inside, Davis. Basket counts. Davis has got 14 points for the game. In case anyone was wondering, this is what it looks like when you're in the zone. He hasn't missed one all quarter. Passes it to Mitchell. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Woo, the defense gets away with a late rotation. That's a shot he normally makes. Bogdanovich against LeBron. And Bogdanovich kicks to Conley. Pass to Mitchell. Gobert dishes to Mitchell. And stolen by Kuzma. And here we go with Cook heading to the hoop. And he comes up with the deuce. Playing with high energy, outworking the defense up the floor. And I just love it when the fast break results in a high percentage look. Not always the case these days. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Looking at who's out there now for the Jams. Davis has checked in for Gobert. O'Neal comes in for Bogdanovich. Moutier is checked in for Mitchell. And it's Exum in for Mike Conley. JaVale McGee is checked in for the Lakers. Caldwell Pope comes in for Danny Green. That's good from Cook. Yeah, nice job of drawing the contact and creating opportunities at the line. Exum deciding where to go with it. Sinks that one from the post. Exum's got four points in the quarter. Dante Exum is a truly talented player taking care of business down inside. For three, Coldwell Pope. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Utah has gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. Here's Moutier. Excellent D that time there from McGee. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Now here's LeBron. He's got 16. And it's Davis with the jam. Well, now that they've settled into this game, you can see the offense is firing on all cylinders. Yeah, the reason why they made the adjustments they needed to make. They are executing. Here's Exum from downtown. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers in complete command. Their lead at 28 points going into the break. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. We come back right after this. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, y'all. We're reporting to you live here in the sold-out arena. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. Looking at the Lakers, 
they are jumping at the opportunity to go up two games to one. If they continue on the same path they were on in the first half, that will put them in firm control of this series. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Well, how about that ball? That was a true definition of team basketball. All five guys moving, all guys rotating, everyone touching the ball, a bunch of assists, tons of easy baskets. It gives everyone on the floor confidence when you're playing like that. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Utah? Well, they got a ton of issues to work on. Allow a way too high percentage to be shot against them. Not really showing any energy on defense. No discipline. Look at their faces, Ernie. Do they even want to be here? And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. from game three. It's been a clinic out there by James. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. This is his challenge to continue to dominate to help them try to close strong here in the second half. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Checking out the group of Frank Vogel to start the second half. Green and LeBron at the two and the three. Up front, it's Kuzma and Davis. And it's Rondo and at the point. Over to the wing. Back to Green. James outside. Shot clock at six. Over Bogdanovich. Misses off the right iron. It's Gobert with the ball for Utah. Here's Mitchell. The shot comes out. LeBron with some nice D. The Lakers shooting has been sensational. 75% for the game. Stolen by Michael Conley. Second half just getting started. About a minute played. Here's Gobert. And that one falls. Coming off Conley's feet. Gobert's got the opening bucket to start the second half for Utah. It's LeBron with the drive. Down it drops through the net for his ninth bucket. He is 9 for 13 so far. They're at their best when LeBron pushes. His aggressiveness raises the level of this team. Conley kicks to Ingles on the wing Mitchell. Fires the three. Rebounded by the Lakers. Kuzma's got eight rebounds in this game. Rondo against Conley. Outside Rondo. Loads it up for Davis. And it's slammed in by Davis. He's in that AD rhythm. Defensively, you need to try and deny him the ball. He's too hot. Conley, the pass to Mitchell. Looking to get back on track here. Anthony Davis grabs the miss. Davis has got his sixth rebound on the night. Ugly start to this half. Hitting just 20% from the field. Gotta pick it up. To the wing right side. They double team Conley. Mitchell outside. Again, Mitchell missing. He's lost it in this quarter. No doubt about it. Nothing seems to be going for him. And Kuzma slams it in. And with his size and athletic ability playing above the rim, not an issue for Kuzma. Conley against Rondo. Conley the pass to Bogdanovich from outside the arc. Again, Mitchell missing. And for his offense, this has just been a brutal period. And Davis gets it to go. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Got a piece of it. And out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Green, he's checked in for the Jazz. To Marcus Cousins, he's checked in for the Lakers. Bradley comes in for Green. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Outside Bradley. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. That's seven points for Avery Bradley. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. 
Conley dishes to Gobert. Looking to end the run. Conley gets the bucket. Conley's got 16. Good find, and one of Gobert's advantages as a passer, he can see over everyone's head. And he gets it to go as they call the foul. He's on his way to the line for one more. And loving the strategy. Even though you're well ahead, you want to stay in attack mode. You want to be aggressive right Mind at the, the rim, Mind driving the another nail into the coffin. For Utah, they've gone just 25% from the field here in the second half. They're two of eight. Here's Conley. Gobert trying to get open, and he banks in the layup. 18 points for Conley. And that's where Conley is most dangerous. Just amazing quickness on his way to the rack. Took him no time at all on that one. And the Jazz with possession here. Mitchell looking it over. And it's Conley that time on the assist by Mitchell. 20 points for Conley. Mike Conley looking comfortable in the post. Even with the defense draped all over him, he gets it to go. Utah's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Has to go bare. Yes, that goes in. Gobert's got four points now in the quarter. And as Rudy Gobert has been adding bulk, he's only getting better at finishing through contact. LeBron has doubled. Kicks to Rondo. Down to five on the shot clock. That one a little long. And so it's Bogdanovich who brings up the ball for the Utah Jams. Green passes to Conley. Outside Bogdanovich fades back and it's green missing and I was sure that was money on that one but everyone has afforded an easy miss or two yes let's look on the bright side you got a great look it's a play that you might want to go back to again Utah with the ball following the bucket by the Lakers here's Mitchell lays it up off the glass Mitchell's got nine the plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. James finds Kuzma. Outside Bradley. The pass to James. Good D by Mitchell. For Utah, they've gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6 of 13 from the field here in the third. Knocked away. Bear dishes to Bogdanovich. Banked in off the glass. Bogdanovich has got his second basket of the game. And hey, you got to appreciate the determination that Bogdanovich showed there. When he puts it on the deck, he's looking to finish at the basket. Now here's Cousins. Ten points for him. The wide open look here for Kuzma. And it's off from three point range. Rondo against Conley. Gobert, the pass to come. It's stolen by Rondo. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Rondo is a pro in transition. He can flat out get it done. Conley against Rondo. And it's Conley penetrating. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Avery Bradley. Yeah, how about the body control jazz. on that one? Narrowly Michael misses Tunley. getting the deuce. The Jazz shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Two shots. And that one falls for Mike Conley. It's so good to see Mike Conley out there. After all the injuries, I just love how the offense runs with him at the helm. Here's what Utah is going with right now. Ed Davis has checked in for Green. Royce O'Neal comes in for Bogdanovich. And it's Exum in for Mitchell. And then for the Lakers, JaVale McGee's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Caldwell Pope comes in for Bradley. 
and it's Alex Caruso in for Rajon Rondo. Here's Caruso. Passes it to McGee. He dishes it to LeBron. With that size and that speed, it's hard not to foul LeBron. That's the only way to slow him down. The Lakers have made six of their seven attempts at the line in this one. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, LeBron. You know, maybe the most storied high school player ever. It's amazing to think that LeBron's exceeded expectation here at the pro level. And the Jazz making a change here. Moutier has checked in. James drills them both. Jazz have gotten half their shots to drop in the second half up to this point, going 7 of 14. Gobert, and that comes off the assist by Exum. Exum's got four assists in the game. A much more physical player now than when he first entered the lead. Gobert powering it home. And the slam dunk by McGee. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's Exum. He's got 11. Moutier, no good. Caruso looking for an opening. LeBron against O'Neal. LeBron drives in. That one drops for him. LeBron's got 11 in the second half. Man, he has been locked in this quarter, shouldering the load at the offensive end. Here's Davis. But they get it back. And Gobert kicks to Moutier. Four on the clock. Second shot opportunity. And that's two points on the layup. Moutier's got eight. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Caldwell Pope outside. Pass to Caruso. Moutier against Caldwell Pope. Caruso, the pass to Caldwell Pope. It's stolen by Moutier. And here we go. Fast break. Moutier's got it. And the layup is good. Moutier's got four this quarter. LA's on one of three from downtown since halftime. Pass to Cousins. Outside for Caldwell Pope. Back to Cousins. Here's Caruso, still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. These are big buckets. He's been instrumental in helping them try to close out this game. Moutier dishes to exit. It's deflected. And a guy who blocks few shots, KCP stepping up and gets all of that one. Any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed, and that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor, got to the rim, and made a play. Here's Exum. Rebounded by McGee. McGee's got his fourth rebound in this one. Caldwell Pope on the wing, defended by Moutier. Caldwell Pope passes to Cousins. Here's Caruso, six to shoot. Here's James. Exum pulls it in. That will count. And the last shot of the buzzer doesn't go in for him. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers with a huge 37-point lead to end the quarter. Barring a disaster, it would appear they've got this game in the bag. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Here now a chance to show you our assist of the game, and it's presented as always by State Farm. Yeah, and I, 
I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed, and you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Very unselfish. If you appreciate teamwork, this is the kind of play that will get you up out of your seat. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. They've got O'Neal. Moutier out there with Exum. Then there's Bradley, and it's Niang in at the power forward position. That's the group right now for Utah. Here is Daniels. Back to Caldwell Pope. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. McGee's shot is off. The Jazz shooting 43% from the field. Right side, Bradley. The basket good off the assist from Moutier. So good at the rim, a slow defensive rotation leads to the easy lay. Here's the floater. He takes it up and lays it in. That's nice work, stopping short of the rim, just laying it over the top. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. 20 feet out, and that one is off. And the Lakers going the other way now. Here's Caldwell Pope, and he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Really most effective when he's in attack mode, and KCP with the athleticism to do it. Back to Moutier. This one for three. That's his sixth field goal today, and that makes him now six for 11. Sometimes it's all about patience. His first three of the game, something to build on. Here's Caruso. Caldwell Pope for three. Rebounded by Exum. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. That one good for two. You have to enjoy watching Exum play through contact. This guy really works hard on both ends of the floor. Caruso kicks to Caldwell Pope. The rebound by Niang. Jazz have gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Exum finds Bradley. And Moutier throws it down. Never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. You have to switch on that play. And how sweet a play was that? As sweet as it gets, an exquisite pass to set up the powerful alley-oop dunk. Here's Niang. A floater, and it's Moutier getting it to go. Moutier's got 11 points here in just the second half. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. It's Caldwell Pope with the drive, and it's blocked by Bradley. That shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. The rim protection at its finest. The result is the same whether you block the shot or simply change it. A for effort, but when there's that much resistance at the rim, better find another option. Daniels passes to Caruso. Here is Daniels, defended by Moutier. For three, Caldwell Pope, rebounded by the Jazz. Exum's got his fourth rebound in this one. His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. That shows you their resourcefulness. Yep, it counts. And this is why coaches talk about playing with pace. The scoreboard tells it all. It's a winning approach when you execute. That's the key. They're playing fast, but also under control. Now, here's Moutier. The rebound by Caldwell Pope. Caldwell Pope's got four rebounds now tonight. McGee, the shot misses. O'Neal with the defensive effort. Feeds to Moutier. That's down the hatch. That's one more to his total. That's nine for 15 shooting. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Here's Caruso. Caldwell Pope outside. No oh, good with the triple. The Jazz have gotten into a pretty good groove going 6 of 10 here in the final quarter. That one's not going to go. 
And the Lakers will go the other way with it. To me, there's a fine line between being aggressive and just flat out forcing it. His inability to make shots right now is sinking the ship. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. And Dudley kicks to Caldwell Pope. He feeds it to McGee. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Fires top of the key. That one off the back iron and out. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. To the inside. It's blocked. Coldwell Pope with it. Now defended by Exum. On the wing, Daniels. To the middle. Here's Caruso. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Caruso's got four this quarter. Niang passes to Moutier. And it's Contavious Coldwell Pope with the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. A different look for Utah. Davis has checked in for Royce O'Neal. And Williams Goss subbed in for Exum. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Cook's checked in. Now the pass to Moutier. And here's Bradley. Five on the clock. Here's Niang. No good on the triple. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. Caruso kicks to Cook. They get it again. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Utah ball. Here's Williams Goss. Dishes it to Moutier. Rebound by JaVale McGee. McGee's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Daniels, and he uses the glass on the layup. Daniels has got four points now in the quarter. Strong move at the rim. The defender was just a tad bit late and contested. Moutier passed to Williams Goss. Elbow shot is on the way. No good that time. And the Lakers take it the other way. Cook, good. Just no resistance on the inside. That's their fifth consecutive make in the paint. Passes it to Moutier. Rebounded by Dudley. And it's Cook with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. Here's Daniels. Rebound, Utah. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. The shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Here is Cook, and it's blocked by Bradley. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Not just swinging the ball around the perimeter. Aggressive move inside. Pass to McGee. The dish to Cook. Here's Caruso. Rocket six. Cook the pass to McGee. Bradley with some nice D. Utah has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Pass to Williams Goss. There's a minute 40 left here in the fourth quarter. Niang, that's good. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. And there's the pass to Daniels. Back to Cook. Here's Caruso. That one, no good. Bradley with some nice D. 
and now we can start talking about game four. What a magnificent effort and, and really a significant victory for the Lakers. They had a fantastic play from the bench. And this team has great depth, and they showed it in this game. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for LeBron. Woo, he put on a clinic tonight. Terrific vision, sees the whole floor, and he hits guys in their spots with pinpoint dives. Here the long-range jumper. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. And guess what? It's going to be a fun flight home. Total team effort. Big win on the road. And you got to like that they found something positive here, something that maybe carry overs into the next game. They put together some great possessions here at the end. It's a shame they could have used this run much earlier. And here are the Jazz now. So the wing on the left. Passes it to Williams Goss. Here's Niang. Let's it go with the three. No good there. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easy. And they've edged in front in the series after an outstanding performance here in game three. Kevin, it sure was. When teams split the first two games of a series, game three means everything. They're going into game four now, riding that high after this win. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thank you. Anthony, an impressive win, and it seemed like a collective effort out there tonight. Guys came in and, and stepped up and played tremendously, you know, so I just go out there and play you know, with all my energy and everything I had in me and leave it out on the floor, and I'm um, glad we got the win. Hey, Anthony, thanks for your time. Kevin, back to you, man. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. That concludes this broadcast of the Western Conference Finals. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.